you're back, Alf Gullion here. Welcome to part two of the interview conversation series that we're having with Blair Bullion and Caroline, who is the head honcho and managing director of Blair Bullion. Uh, if you haven't checked out part one yet, there's a link down in the description below. Make sure you go and check that out. It's probably best to start there and then come back and watch part two. So, on we go. Now, there is one other topic which I wanted to talk about today, and uh, Brexit and all of the issues going on. And, uh, you know, today is a pretty big day for Brexit and we don't really know what's going on whilst we're filming this, so it could be completely, what we're going to talk about could be completely <coughs> defunct by the time this video goes live, mm -hmm. but let's broach it anyway. I think it will make it more of a level playing field mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's initially when this, when this came up mm. in our business about silver being cheaper um, overseas in Europe, um, it was quite frustrating, but we we offer service. We we offer probably the best value silver coins in the UK, um, and I, and if you want to sell back to us, it's much easier. Yes, like, well, if so, you've got that record with the dealer, yeah. you've bought from them. If you've bought a certain item, say you buy this bar, of course, then they can verify that it's the same bar if you end up selling it back, and there's no doubt. So our um, business is about relationship with the customer. Sure. And I think that would continue. Yeah. Um, you know, we just have to work with what we have. Yeah. But it does raise interesting questions around just generally VAT. I mean, not that any of us are in, in the power to make those decisions, but if it was up to you, Caroline, would you scrap VAT on silver? Or do you think it's, I mean, why, why is it on there? I wouldn't want there to be tax on, it doesn't make sense, on, does it? on any precious metals that are an investment. Yeah. Because uh, there are certain grades of metal that, are, that can only be considered investment. If you have 18 karat gold, that's not investment grade and yeah. that would be subject to VAT. Okay, interesting. So, yeah, I mean, there's so many avenues that I don't, I don't fully <laughs> appreciate in my own business as well. Um, so, if, like, that's presumably why sovereigns and things are 22 karat or, or higher. Yeah. That's the bullion grade. It has to be 90% or higher. 90% or higher, okay, interesting. Um, so, I, I'm just thinking now there's a few gold coins out on the market which are sort of 80% silver or, or lower. Yeah, some of them aren't things, really so. quite bullion. Yeah, but, but oh, interesting. So you learn something new every day. <laughs> um, now, the VAT question is on new products here in the UK, so about second hand silver. Have, have you guys ever considered that? Is it practical? I mean, I know a lot of people watching this will be asking that question, but it'd be interesting to get your thoughts on perhaps why it's not practical. Okay, um, first of all, I'd like to clear something up mm. about this VAT free. You can't have anything that is totally VAT free if you're a VAT registered business. Yeah, no, okay. You so. cannot sell totally VAT free, but yeah. you can sell on the margin scheme. Yes, sorry. So. Yeah, I should correct myself there in saying all that. I do apologise. It's just the phrase that we get used to saying because yeah. it's the equivalent of VAT free, but it's low not. VAT. But low VAT, uh, the VAT margin scheme. So thank you for correcting me on that. But I mean, we do, we do already sell mm -hmm. on the margin scheme, yeah. um, and but we don't have a lot of product coming into us sure. because and, and when it does come in, it goes out really quickly, yeah. and we offer it at much lower rates yeah. than. Um, than buying new, yeah. So we're already doing that, sure. Um, so in order to be to, to hear about these offers mm. quickly, you need to be on our mailing list. I was actually just about <laughs> to ask you, how do you get involved in that? Because it's so either on our mailing list or keep our special offers page open. Yeah, well, I'll, what we'll do is we'll put a link down in the description to both Blair's website and the page where you can register onto the mailing list as well. Let's talk a little bit about hand or silver then in that respect as well. So Handball silver in the UK is not very common um, and I know from speaking from both of our point of views because we've put a lot of effort and time into making these bars yes. so I think it's probably a good time to actually do the grand reveal <laughs> on them. So we've made these for Blair, Backup Bullion have made these, there's 25 of them, uh, limited run and they are with an owl on them. So tell us about the owl connection because it's a really interesting uh, area. Okay well we're based in Devon yeah. and um, on a farm and um, it's nature is, is very important to us and anyone who's looked at our pictures will see that um, we've got you know, we really like the that the, the natural aspect of metals and the earthiness of it and yeah. the whole concept of owning something that's tangible and real yeah 
Um, so we've got a strong connection with, with the land <clears throat> and where the metal comes from, but also being where we are, we wanted to support um, a local charity. Okay. And on our farm, we have barn our boxes. Sure. And we've had a few chicks have been born there. And Barn Owl Trust looks after the boxes and we wanted to give something back. And so that's, so, um, and that's where the owl came yeah. in. And uh, I know a lot of thought and energy went into creating that design. And I think it's, I think it's come out really well. It looks very good on, on the bars. And um, so these are all two, two ounce bars. We've created 25 of them for 2018. So we're kind of late in the year of 2018. This is all that we really could manage. Uh, each one has been hallmarked by the Edinburgh Assay Office, as you guys can see there, and they're going to be exclusively available through Blair Bullion. So I just want to say, from my point of view, a massive thank you for taking taking the risk and gamble of helping or helping my business by, by commissioning them, because it's I know it's a gamble for you. It's handful of silver, as we've just said. It's a difficult market here in the UK. But you guys out there, if you want to help support both Blair, the Barnell Charity, and everything I do, then head on over to the Blair website and have a look at them. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping that we'll do more. Well, I'm hoping that we'll do more as well. It's really exciting. I, and, you know, our, we have many customers who buy coins yeah. because they like to buy different designs. So I don't see why they can't, they won't want, they won't love these bars. I think yeah. they really are gorgeous. Well, well thank you. We put, we put a lot of energy into them and, and hopefully they look... Uh, good enough for the customers as well, but only you guys can tell us. So go on over to the comment section and, uh, and let us know your thoughts on the bars. Um, have you seen much hand poured silver though at all coming through? No. No. So it is, it is completely. It's a bit of a shot in the dark, isn't it? I suppose for the UK market. But maybe we're going to set a trend, and maybe one day there'll be uh, lots more hand poured silver passing through Blair Bullion. So that I, I mean that we talked a lot today about various different things. Um, I've tend, I tend to waffle on everything that I say here, Caroline. So if, is there anything that we haven't covered or anything that you want to say to the viewers out there in the UK, even abroad? Because, uh, well, that's one question we haven't asked actually. Do you ship internationally? We can ship up to a certain weight, but when it starts to get heavy over two kilos, yeah. it becomes expensive. It does, yeah. And there are not very many couriers who will actually even take precious metals. Yes. So we try and use the Royal Mail service, sure. um, which we're working on something, but it's, uh, it's not easy. No, no, it's not. Um, and there's a lot more risk when we ship internationally. Yeah, I've, well, I've found that as well. Although I have to say the Royal Mail does, on the whole, a fairly good job. Yeah. I've, I've only ever had one parcel go missing, and that was due to a hurricane in Texas. Mm. Uh, and instantly, instantly <laughs> that parcel then turned up about two months later. So yeah, no, it, we've we've always been quite lucky with yeah. the post. So. Um, but it, it's very, it's, it's just odd, isn't it? The international kind of courier services and the lack of willingness to take precious metals. I guess yeah. it's funny, isn't it? But um, just another one of the many barriers to being a bullion dealer. Um, and I hope you guys out there have kind of got quite a lot out of today's. Sort of interview conversation that we've had and get a little bit of insight into what it's like to be a bullion dealer uh, and hear firsthand what it you know some of the issues that are out there so yeah. and in the way that i i suppose you asked earlier about how we're different i start it's it's in little stages really i look after my staff like they're my family yeah i cook lunch for them every day yeah you know we um we're a very close team yeah. and as a result everyone really cares about the business and they care about the customers yeah. and about giving excellent service. Yeah. So and I think that shines through. I've I've spent the better part of the day with you guys here and it's it's been a really fun experience and I, I can vouch for that that it's not just it's not just a faceless corporation that's selling gold and silver en masse, it's something that's a little bit different. Uh, so thank you. I think I mean, we're, we're running out of time a little bit here. I know we're thank pressed you. for time, but uh, it's been a real pleasure to talk with you. Now, incidentally, I and uh, myself and Caroline are going to pop off and we're actually going to be filming another little segment which will be available via Blair Bullion, which is going to be a little bit more about me. So if any of you out there are interested in that, uh, we will be putting links to that up at some point in the future. So make sure that you catch that if you can. Otherwise, Thank you so much, Caroline, for all of your time, especially, I just have to pick this up again and have a look at it here, the 250 gram gold bar. 
you don't see one of those every day and that's something very special. So thank you very much for all of your time. Um, and guys, if you like this video, please do put a thumbs up on it and share it around on your social media. That would be very helpful to everything that I do here on my YouTube channel and as well to Blair Bullion's business. And if you'd like to see future videos, then please make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want a notification, hit the alarm bell as well. Otherwise, that is all I have to say today. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.